first thing I got, I mean, before we, there's a million directions here, but I have to ask Bob is, <laughs> I got to get right to it, Bob. is like, how do we get, you know, the coach? How did that happen? Because that was a little <laughs> bit of a, that wasn't easy. Getting the coach, you know, so how, it was kind of started with Mike, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a great story. I think JD was involved in that. I, um, we obviously had to bring in a new coach. Uh, we had a very rough year. Um, I had a couple of names in my mind. I was thinking Scotty Bowman, not Keenan. And uh, JD and I had a conversation. I came out of, um, Lupica was doing a show on WFAN. I got in a car and I got a call from JD, and JD got a call from Mike's agent and said, Mike really is interested in getting this job. And uh, they wanted to have a conversation with you. And I said, you know, I don't really want to do that. I think, you know, it's up to Neil. And if this is Neil, Neil's guy, then, uh, you know, I'll support it. So tell them to give Neil a call. They were having conversations. By the time I got back, Neil was in my office. And he came down and he said, uh, I want to hire Mike Keenan. And uh, I said, are you sure you want to hire Mike Keenan? <laughs> and he said, yes. <laughs> He says, Mike's the guy that's going to be able to uh, win the Stanley Cup, and uh, I want to give everything we can behind it, and I may need your help to go up to Toronto, but uh, I believe very much that Keenan is, is the guy. I talked to JD, because I would always talk to JD just to try and get his opinion on it. He thought Mike was the guy, and uh, Mike wound up uh, being the guy. And a great part of that story, though, this was before email. We were up in Toronto. We had a full-day meeting. Um, Mike and his agent said, well, you know, w let us think about it. Go back to your hotel room. And uh, I went back to my hotel room with Neil and I, and we were waiting for the phone call, and we got the call. And Mike's agent said that if you can come back and if you can memorialize what you guys said today on paper, uh, Mike wants to be the coach of New York Rangers. And uh, we went back, and it was faxes back, back and forth faxes. <laughs> And we finally signed a deal about 12 o'clock, 12.30 in the morning. We went back to my hotel room, and I was going to order some champagne. <laughs> and Mike said, mm. nope, we'll order four beers, we'll drink champagne when we win the cup. And we won the cup that day. There you go.